Ladies and gentlemen, Auburn football had a massive recruiting weekend this past weekend and what we're doing in today's second video of the day is breaking down the commits from the 2025 class and the commits from the 2026 class. So, we're going to update you guys all on Auburn football recruiting today. Obviously, in the other video that we had earlier today, we talked to Marvel Studios Comic Con. Today, we, in our second video, we're going to talk Auburn football recruiting but first, of course, if you guys aren't in the channel, obviously be sure to like, subscribe, turn that bell on as we do our best to post on this channel every single day. Like I said, tomorrow you will get a breakdown of the Auburn Football Performance Center, the Watos Performance Center. Um, Wednesday, you should be getting our UNCW Dynasty. Thursday, we may have a preview of the Hall of Fame game and kind of preview the NFL season this year. And then Friday, of course, we will have our Dynasty mode with Baylor as well. We'll be back with that too. But before we hop into all of that, be sure to, number one, drop a like, subscribe, turn that bell on. It's the best way to help us here at the channel. Let's go ahead and hop right in to the Class of 2025 and the Class of 2026 commits over Big Cat Weekend for Auburn football. All right, so how this is going to work is we will start off with the class of 2025 first, and then the class of 2026 is going to be next. We had about three players from the class of 2025, and then I believe about four players, or three, and then possibly four, for 2026, and we'll talk about that fourth one here at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that one as well. But our starting off with class of 2025 commits, the first commit from Big Cat Weekend, I believe, was Blake would be the four-star cornerback out of the state of Maryland. Committed this weekend after a great Big Cat Weekend visit. He is the number three player in the state of Maryland and the 100 player in the class of 2025 per 247, and I believe ESPN as well. He was an Ohio State commit who now has flipped from Ohio State to Auburn. I, that's a great sign for new phrase in this class as well. Gets us a really good cornerback who obviously isn't going to start right away, of course, with the loaded class that we have. But if he, our starting quarterback for the future years, like Kinsley Faustin or stuff like that, happens to be injured or something, then he can step up in a big way as a freshman. Also, if it doesn't work out, he's one of those guys who can redshirt as well and do that path too. So Blake would be is a very important commit and was a great target for Hugh Freeze and company to flip as well. Number two is Antonio Coleman. I don't know what is up with this guy, but the four-star defensive lineman has finally, hopefully, committed with Auburn and is locked in for the foreseeable future after going from Bama to Auburn, then back to Bama, and then back to Auburn, of course, is where he finally lends up. The defensive lineman is the number 13th player in the state and the number 125th player in the state or in the class of 2025, ranked out of ESPN's 300 list as well. This guy is a stud all around. Obviously, he's had his little troubles flipping from Bama to Auburn, then back to Bama, then back to Auburn. It's it's what kids do nowadays, so I'm not too worried about it. But if he flips back to Bama, then Auburn's going to be in trouble. But for right now, we seem to have him locked up, which is a great addition to the defensive lineman. As this year, we are going to lose some good defensive linemen, obviously, that are going to go to the NFL draft. But we are going to lose some of those key pieces on the defensive side of the ball as well, like Eugene Asante. Obviously, there are some other guys in there who I can't think of off the top of my head. But we are going to be losing some of those guys as well. So a great pickup for Auburn and Hugh Freeze and staff. But we will see if he flips to Bama and flips back to Auburn one more time before National Signing Day as well. And then finally, this one just happened about an hour ago. So it is after Big Cat Weekend, but I'm still going to count it because Big Cat Weekend was this past weekend and he was there. And that's ultimately what decided for him to flip. This player is Derek Smith, the four-star all Basically, all-purpose player. If you know ATH, that it, that just means that he can play any position. So he is loaded with talent. Has flipped his commitment from Alabama to Auburn. He has been to the committed to the Crimson Tide since March of last year, I believe. And of course, he is the number three player in the country 
for the class of 2025. This kid is a dog, not sure why he's not ranked a five stars, but he is a four star all purpose player. He can play multiple positions. Great pickup again for Auburn and Hugh Freeze and staff as well. He can, he's going to be utilized a lot. He will definitely see some playing time once his, he enters his freshman year at Auburn on the plains. And finally, this brings us to the number eight class in the in 2025. Two back-to-back -to -back top 10 classes puts Auburn back up with recruiting as well. Last year, we had a top 10 class. This year, we're still rolling, and there, people have been saying that they are, we could be flipping Neom Offered out of Ohio State, that Ohio State commit as well. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But right now, we currently stand at the number 8 class in 2025 with 19 four-star players. Uh, to, according to on three so obviously this is great for you threes and staff let's go ahead and close this video out with the class of 2026 commitments which there are a lot we need to break down about okay here we go the class of 2026 this is a big one for the future of auburn programs as well like i've been saying i think 2027 is going to be the year that auburn could potentially win the natty especially if we start our year off with going nine and three this year that's a great setup for the future but that's for future videos and we'll take that week by week once college football season starts but Hezeki harris hezekia harris i'm going to mispronounce that name is the first class of 2025 commit the four-star edge from huntsville alabama is the number 30th 30 player in the class of 2026 and the number two player or edge rusher in the state for his position and in, in the state of Alabama, who only is, of course, behind the five-star edge, Anthony Tank Jones, who Auburn is also in the mix for. This, again, gives us great depth at the edge position, and I think that's what a lot of Auburn and Hugh Freeze and staff is trying to get, is depth at each position, and this is a great start, especially for the class of 2026, who, again, is going to be the future of this Auburn program as well. Up next, we have Shadarius Tootle, the four-star linebacker out of Mobile, Alabama, who plays at Cottage Hill Christian Academy, right across the bay from where I live, is the number four player in the state, according to 24-7 Sports Rivals as well. So again, a number, another great linebacker pickup for Auburn Tigers, for the Auburn Tigers and Coach Hugh Freeze. This is going to be a great class for 2026 already, and it is shaping up to have a lot of depth at that position as well. With our final player being Jamichael Garrett, the four-star linebacker out of Gulf Shores, Alabama, is the number eight player in the state who won a state title with Gulf Shores in 2023, I believe, or 2024 had 87 tackles last season and he's got just an all-around stud i believe he recorded a couple interceptions on the ball as well so jermichael garrett is the one who i've been pushing for auburn to get i really like his style of play i think he will fit in perfectly with our linebacker core again shenarius too and obviously now jermichael garrett both committing really do help us out a lot and this obviously brings us to our update on Anthony Jones. If you guys do not know who he is, he is the five-star player out of St. Paul's Episcopal School. The five-star edge is what, the, this is what the update I have on him. I say the five-star edge has yet to announce a commitment as he is still weighing his options. He is very high on Auburn's radar and Auburn, or he is very high on Auburn as well. Expect a decision soon from him as well. He's going to commit early. He's may potentially reclassify. We don't know about that one. But this leads me to say that Auburn now has the number one class in 2026. 2027, guys, I'm telling you, y'all better watch out for this Auburn Tiger squad because we are about to go off 9-3 and three this year. Hopefully, maybe 10-2 and two next year. Good, could potentially get us into the playoffs next year. We'll have to wait and see about that. But those are updates on the main guys who committed this weekend on um, Big Cat Weekend. A great weekend for Auburn and Coach Hugh Freeze on the Plains. Anyway, of course, that is where I'm going to end it for this second video of the day. Once again, be sure to like, subscribe, turn that bell on. We do our best to post on this channel every single day. Like I said, this is the second video of the day. So, again, you're into recruiting, college football, NFL football. Hit that subscribe button. Helps us out a lot here on the channel, and you guys will get the daily videos as well. Like I said, tomorrow we'll play our online dynasty as UNCW. 
And then I believe Wednesday we may potentially break down the Auburn per Football Performance Center Tour. We'll maybe flip-flop that and do that one on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, play our online dynasty. Thursday, we'll talk the NFL Hall of Fame game. And then Friday, of course, will be our dynasty with the Baylor Bears. So stay tuned towards the end of the week. If you guys are into College Football 25 stuff, you guys will get that by the end of the week as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, like, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. Thank you all so much, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.